Okay, here, let's go into a topic that I love to discuss, hard drives. Now, let's go back to my first computer with a 5 gigabyte hard drive. Not much, and it filled up fast. I then had a 20 gigabyte external thanks to a media player that fried. I then had another 120 gigabyte hard drive thanks to another failed electronics project. And I turned that into an external drive. My first computer would not take another fucking hard drive in it no matter what. I never figured out the reason why. But every single time you put a new part into it, it fucking black screened and wouldn't boot. Never figured out the reason for that. Now, we get into the, I got an Alienware a while, a little bit later. Not because I couldn't build my own computer, because I, for any reason like that, but we had a 10, 10 or 20% off, yeah, it was a 20% off that got applied to the $2,000, the computer cost, and then another $500 bonus that got taken off from it, that was applied after the first percent so in total it was about seven hundred dollars off at the time the alienware computer was actually you can buy the parts separately and build a better computer that's just it i mean no one fucking believes me when i say that at this point but it, it's true you could not build a better computer than what i had for cheaper. Now, I mentioned that because that's when I got a new motherboard. That's when I started to be able to put hard drives into my computer, not just have externals. So, I had a 250 gig and a 120 gig. The 120 gig kind of died, but didn't. The external enclosure died. I thought it was a hard drive. I washed my hands of it and got in and since I had 125 or 250 gig in my computer, not that big a deal at the time. Then Windows crapped out and I had to buy a new hard drive. 300 gigs. Windows crapped out again on that 300 gigs. So I got a 750, moved everything from the 300 inside of Nopix over to the 750, formatted the 300 and used it again as a boot. And that worked for a while until it crapped out fucking again. So I'm at... I got two hard drives outside the computer. 120 gig, which I got two external enclosures for, and a 750, which the enclosure died, and I'm using another fucking one, and that's a pain in the ass. So I'm at two hard drives outside, two hard drives inside. It's at this point I got a 150 gig hard drive, uh, a 1.5 terabyte hard drive, moved everything from the 300 over to it, and decommissioned the 300 outright. So the 350 is out of my computer. I got a 1.5 uh, terabyte in there, and two months later my computer fries. The motherboard, poof, motherfucking motherboard. Got a new computer. Didn't want to format the hard drive because I had the 300 gig on there and data that I that I accumulated over the two months and there was a lot of data, so I got another 1.5 terabyte. These 1.5 terabytes were from Seagate. Fan fucking tastic. God damn it! I forgot to put the microphone in front of me. Shit. Okay, fuck it. Audio is just going to be a little bit quiet on this one. So, I got them from Seagate. Three months, or not even three months. Fucking two weeks after. Hard drive goes into PIO mode. Didn't know what PIO mode was at the time, but I fucking learned that shit after a month of dealing with read and writes being out. One. Fucking megabyte. God damn it. Okay. One megabyte read writes. Okay. Figured out it was a cable from the hard drive to the computer that was fucked. Yay. 
$20. Thank you, Best Buy. I had no fucking choice but to buy it from them. A $1 cable cost me 20 fucking bucks because of that. Half my problem with Best Buy, but not for this video. Now, six fucking RMAs later, I got two 1.5 terabyte drives that work. I got another 250 gig hard drive in there that works. I got a 750 outside and 120 outside. Five hard drives in total that are in use, somewhat. I say that because now it gets to the new point. This Christmas, I am getting a 4 terabyte hard drive. I am moving every fucking drive I have and putting it into one. I wanted to do this for fucking months. Do you know why I didn't? A 4 terabyte hard drive at launch cost 400 goddamn dollars. A year fucking later. Four terabyte hard drives cost four hundred fucking dollars from Western Digital. Okay, here are my options: four terabyte from Seagate, four terabyte from Western Digital, four terabyte from Hitachi. You know, three people, you'd think you'd have good odds of getting a deal. And honestly, with two terabyte drives costing a hundred and ten dollars, about a hundred ten dollars. You do get a fairly good deal on a 4 terabyte drive from either Hitachi or Western Digital at $250. West Seagate or Hitachi for $250. Western Digital, $400. They're using old technology. They're repurposing it. It's old fucking technology they're putting into it. Five platters. I think the other ones are only four. So yeah, Western Digital, cash grab. Fuck them. So, I'm here with three options. $400 Western Digital, $250 Seagate, $250 Hitachi. Now, who do I buy it from? Western Digital had a sale for $50, or on new it was on sale, $50 off. I didn't know it was a temporary sale. I didn't fucking know that. So, $350 when I was considering them. Hitachi, $250. Seagate, $250. Bad, I had a bad time with Seagate, so it's out. Western Digital, Hitachi. So I found out that Hitachi doesn't cross ship with with their RMAs they don't cross ship hard drives unless you fucking threaten them oh they're gone Western Digital so I'm sitting on it for a day or two thinking $350 I'm getting a 4 terabyte no matter fucking what I didn't care but would it be Western Digital no they went from $350 to $400, and you know, when I feel like I'm getting bent over a goddamn table, I fucking stop. So, there is Seagate or Hitachi. Seagate has a two year warranty on their drives. Some of them are one year, this one I found out would be two years. Cunts. Hitachi, I believe, has a three year. So, Seagate, I've dealt with them extensively with their RMA. Their customer service is fucking great for how pissed I was. I mean, it was great cross shipping. So, you think I'd go West? You think I'd go Seagate? I read on their customer reviews for the products that some of the retailers are stripping them out of GoFlex drives because they don't have enough OEM fucking Seagate drives. Seagate decides to stick them into a uh, GoFlex, an external enclosure. Okay, what's the problem there is if you take it out of the external enclosure, you avoid the fucking warranty. 
You're buying it from someone else who did it, so you have no fucking clue. And Seagate tells you to go fuck yourself if that happens. You know, I dealt with six failed Seagate drives. I'm not risking it on that. So I got a Hitachi left. So I bought it from Hitachi. Fucking Hitachi. They don't offer cross shipping unless you fucking threaten them. Pretty much what I understand is an industry standard portion of their fucking warranty process they don't have. Oh, fuck them. All I can hope is that Western Digital gets their shit together or gets fucking anything to bring the goddamn prices down. They have reliable drives and they have decent warranties. Seagate, for the time being, I cannot trust Seagate. At least I can't trust Seagate drives from Amazon. If it was on Newegg for 250 fucking get it right then. But no, it was an Amazon one. And I can't fucking trust that shit. Ah, fuck. And then you're dealing with upgrading the BIOS of the computer to get it to work with a 4 terabyte hard drive. But hopefully, just fucking hopefully, this drive never fails. At least doesn't fail until I upgrade to a 5 or 6 terabyte. Because that's what I'm planning on doing from now on. Because of the way warranties work and how little I can actually trust these, dri trust these drives, coupled with my continuing um, need for more storage, I'm going to be upgrading every year. I might not be upgrading the boot drive, my 120 gig SSD, but I will be boot upgrading the storage every fucking year just because of space needs. I don't like that, but that's the reality I'm dealing with right now. I fucking hate hard drives. I hate that there is not one company that sucks so much or one company that just great. There are just... Okay, Hitachi is part of Western Digital at this point. Samsung is part of Seagate. And there is another Toshiba, but fuck that. I... They don't even make enough drives for me to consider them legitimate. Hitachi is part of, C, part of Western Digital, so they're going to go away soon. Seagate absorbed Samsung, a company I would have bought a 4 terabyte from if they made it. So, there's two choices. One choice sucks. The other choice is expensive. It's not fucking fair. Seriously, in two, maybe not two, in about five years, I don't see either of those companies being what people go, being the go-to company anymore. Most people don't have needs of a one terabyte drive in their computer, much less anything higher. And with solid state drives going down in price... I honestly don't see the hard drive companies competing anymore. Mechanical drives fail and they're not giving out good enough warranties anymore. They're telling you to go fuck yourself with them. You either buy enterprise drives with decent warranties or you settle for the one year shit. And that's it's just not fair what they're doing. I hate my choices. I hate every fucking choice I had to make with this hard drive. All I can hope for is that the drive doesn't fail right off the fucking bat, because that would suck. I just hope I can get it to last long enough to get into a different, to a bigger drive. Hopefully one where I have a good fucking choice and I can make it. I just want to be able to make the choice I want, not the one that I got pigeonholed the fuck into with this shit. 